<clears throat> I would rather approach the topic like why not let children be a miracle as they are supposed to be in every language, in every religion, in every energy created in this world from top first good energies that one can feel. I'm saying that a birth should be a miracle, not a plan. And this is why I want to um, have a, a fire site, fire one side chat at the moment in this short podcast uh, about uh, abortion and birth. Uh, it might sound like not abortion, oh my god, I'm sorry, uh, adoption, about um, adoption and birth. Um, actually, yeah, I, I was trying to, to cut this out and to make another recording so I can uh, make it flow in, uh, in the mastering. <laughs> But in the end, I think, why not pronounce the word abortion in this in this podcast? Because honestly, I think it came to my mind just uh, because a while ago, um, short, short but not very long while ago, Argentina just granted uh, the abortion law. So that's kudos for Argentina. I was so happy that moment when I found out and I'm smiling at the moment when I'm... Uh, expressing it right now. Anyway, adoption versus birth, we came from having a miracle in this world for ourselves. And I want to hear in your comments, uh, if you would like, of course, or maybe also only give it a thought uh, in the back of your mind at any time. We live in a world that I don't know if the the next hundred years will be they, for sure they will be transitional and transformational in every point of view uh, for every human being and material thing in the world. Um, I I want to say that. We are like mm, for sure more than eight, 8 billion people at the moment in the world on planet Earth. And we have uh, spread on a, a huge amount of, of actual space on, on the ground. And we cannot, at this moment in time, we already cannot uh, harvest enough healthy food and to feed enough the mouths that are already living here though it might sound selfish I'm gonna approach this uh, in some minutes um, <clears throat> as there there are, <clears throat> there are many many mouths to feed why not try to 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 feed and live better all those mouths that already exist here on earth and here is where i want to bring adoption in in highlight to highlight it versus birth i don't want to downlight birth but um anyway yeah sticking to the point um raising a good life uh, a kid with a good life a kid that was was abandoned or didn't have the luck of of, of family next to him her uh them um they they also need families and there are also many families that unfortunately cannot have a baby and women really go many extra miles in order to and also psychological extra miles in order to to inseminate or other biological innovative 
ways of, of being pregnant. <clears throat> Whereas being having an adopted kid is uh, indeed paperwork and a bit of a fuss, but for sure it's the same satisfying uh, emotion when 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 you actually get the kid that you chose with your husband also when uh, right now also nowadays I'm sure that many many couples actually really plan how they want to, to to have their child by watching the moon by watching what they eat by watching the days by watching the nights the movie they've seen music they listen to stuff you're gonna tell me that you cannot invest the same amount of love or you cannot pass the same virtues to an adopted kid. I'm gonna kindly, pretty please, uh, with a smile on my face, ask you to look at your pet. I, I, I hope that many of you have pets or at least that uh, most of you have uh, that all of you have pets or that at least most of you have or had but for sure you're gonna you're gonna smile back and you're gonna say that yeah you're right my dog cat parrot i don't know dog cat okay <clears throat> monkey i don't know i don't know if iguanas something do look alike me uh, a bit like me you know in behavior in i don't know appetite um, way of sleeping of your pet. <clears throat> so I, <clears throat> I don't really believe that you cannot pass virtues and love to to an adopted kid. But again, I I would really like to debate this with you in comments. Um, and right now I'm gonna approach also the the birth uh, uh, um, highlight <clears throat> of the chat. Um, indeed, it's a miracle. It's amazing having a kid. I don't have kids. I personally personally don't do not have kids. Uh, I hope that's not a tiebreaker in people that uh, will not agree adoption versus to to birth. Uh, but I really believe in the miracle of having a kid, in the joy of having a a child born, in the joy of the family, the mother, the the love the changes, the physical and mental changes, uh, even vibrational changes in, in both mother and father, uh, connections, everything, um, of course. But I, I will, uh, I mean, I, I think it's everything that I can say about giving birth. It's everything good and nice and even though that it's hard and that you you grow a bit bag of uh, dark eyes and stuff like that it's totally worth it i'm i'm 100 percent positive i have so many friends that that have babies and i i honestly i have a saying i i adore i simply love uh, other people's children i mean i adore them and i happily have many friends with beautiful kids and smart and amazing and uh, playful and everything but I would like to express my opinion and I would I would very much I would be happy though it sounds selfish if people would at, at least consider the thought as I said earlier behind your your mind it's beautiful when you when you have a child when you least expect it because it is indeed a miracle rather than to plan it and I really believe that the love and the amount of satisfaction as individual and also as a as a token of, of appreciation not of appreciation as a token of support to first of all to to Mother Earth to to Gaia to Terra to our planet uh, at this point in time when we need to breathe, she needs to breathe, we need to, to, to take care of, of whom we are now living here so that we can have a better Earth. I don't know about you guys, I'm not planning to go to Mars, I don't want to go to Mars. I don't think that, uh, uh, kudos to the people that, that want to go there, 
But honestly, I'm so in love with this planet, and uh, pff, I don't think at one point that we deserve at the moment to colonize another planet because we're not that planet-friendly smart yet, and f f I don't know. Um, and also, we need to grow more love before trying to leave this Earth because it has so many things to, to learn. Um, <clears throat> from where to learn, from where we can learn. Uh, giving birth, and I'm not saying, okay, you have to stop giving birth, you know, but I'm really saying, one, I really wanted to approach this topic right now in 21st century, 2021, uh, that because we're in the century of speed and things go and blow up so fast, and you can see where, what we're living right now. And... I really think that it's time for a, for a break also in in this situation in this in this environment to let children be miracles and try to make also the people the kids not the people actually the kids that have so much love to offer and that have so many questions to ask and that have so many curiosities as well as another kid uh, inside the joke, of, <laughs> uh, and at least you won't have the big, big, big bags under your eyes that for that many years, you know. Um, but anyway, uh, I think I believe. Uh, also, I don't have an adopted kid, so it's it's. Uh, I'm I'm being objective here, uh, but I really think that they have the same amount of even if it's selfish satisfaction of growing something, someone, uh, a human being full of love and full of good vert good principles and uh, passing by a good lifestyle and uh, good energies, uh, smart people, I don't know. Yeah. So uh, it's been uh, already, I don't want it to last even until 15 minutes, it will be a lot. I would like at one point to, to start talking together, maybe, uh, actual talk. Uh, until then, uh, if you liked the, or if you have an opinion, not if you liked it, uh, if you have an opinion, I would very much enjoy talking to you about it. And yeah, why not? I'm the person, the type of person that wants to make a change in the world. And I'm trying to do it bit by bit, like grounds of sand, you know, aiming for the sea and the horizon. And yeah, I hope this is a, a nice way of moving mountains. Uh, wish you all the best of on every uh, time frame that you are. Sunshine or uh, good resting moonlight, relaxing moonlight. Uh, wish you all the best. Big, big hugs.